Hey guys, Tim here with The Long Hair Gardener, and today is the day that I'm going to start digging up my elephant ears and possibly uh, my cannas. Um, I've been putting this off for a long time now, but we are at the end of October, so happy Halloween. Um, and it's just time to um, dig these out. The reason why I always want to put this off to the last minute because it's a sad time. It signifies that the growing season is basically over and um, it's time to take a break from the garden. So that's why I've kind of been putting, digging these guys out, but it is time. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with uh, digging out the elephant ears and then preparing to store them uh, inside over the winter. All right, so I don't have a lot of elephant ears to uh, dig up and actually this year I put some of them in pots. So you can see one right here, I brought it over. Um, the other pot of elephant ears is right back here and then I do have like one right here that's actually in the ground. I think another one over here which you can no longer see and I also want to uh, dig up the upright elephant ear. I'm a little nervous to find out what the state of the bulb is looking like because the edges of these leaves are like transparent and now a little crunchy. I'm a little concerned about the state of this bulb. So we're gonna see what's happening underneath the ground. To a certain extent, also a little nervous about these guys because I can, well, I'm just gonna do it right now. I can feel underneath here that this look, that this feels kind of hollow underneath. That came out really easily. And wow, this is like, it's almost like a cup. I don't know if you can, yeah, you should be able to see. That's not great. It doesn't look great. Um, <laughs> normally these bulbs are round and not hollowed out like that. So it doesn't feel soft or rotted, but I'm still not sure if that is going to survive um, being stored inside. Um, let me see, I'm just kind of curious now. This one doesn't feel quite as bad, but this little guy is definitely in a better state than this one over here. All right, so all I'm gonna do, and these ones in the pots are super easy. Sorry if the camera is not capturing all of this because I am doing this one-handed. It does have some crazy roots here. So all I'm going to do now is take, take these guys out of the soil. Even this one here with the funny hollowed out center. Just gonna kinda dig in here and make sure I don't I'm not leaving any bulbs in here. But I think that's all of them. Um, so this is it. I'm going to take all of the bulbs out of the ground and then I'm just gonna let them sit here for a few days uh, to dry out. And as they're drying out, I'm just gonna knock off some more of that soil that's around the bulb to prevent any rotting. Um, and then maybe in about a week, it depends on how cold it gets outside, uh, I'll come back in then and cut off the tops of these, which I will show you in just a little bit. So let me just um, dig out the rest of these elephant ears. All right, so far I have not been too happy with the way these bulbs look. I don't know if it's because um, that I've had these bulbs for 
maybe three or four years now and they're just getting older or if it's because I just waited a little long before I took these out of the ground. It is um, like we're days away from Halloween so we're at the end of October and normally I take these bulbs out second or yeah probably first second uh, week in October so I did wait a little bit longer because it's been unseasonably warm out but for whatever reason the bulbs aren't looking too great so let's see how this guy looks I'm a little nervous for him just because of the the weird um, situation that's going on here on the leaves As you can see, it's a little rotted on the bottom here, but I may be able to cut this off and then just keep the top portions here. But it does look like I have several, like it grew several uh, additional offshoots, so I have um, more than one bulb. So. Hopefully, some of these will winter over, and I'm feeling pretty hopeful about that. So I'm just going to set these all to the side in the sun with the other elephant ears. Alright, here are all the elephant ears all lined up, and for whatever reason, yeah, they're not looking so great. Um, you can see there's a lot of... Um, a lot of the bulbs look like maybe they rotted a little bit so I'm gonna let these sit out maybe for about a week to dry out knock off any remaining soil and then after a week I'm gonna go back in here and then cut off all of the green uh, leaves and then bring them inside to store over the winter so we'll check in, the, in on these in about a week Okay, here we are a week or about a week later um, and the elephant ears have had some time to dry out. You can see that the roots are now very dry and kind of crunchy and some of the leaves have started to die back. So I have done this both ways where I've dug them out of the ground, cut the leaves off and then prepared uh, to put them away for the winter. Um, this time I chose to leave the leaves on for a week with the idea that maybe some of the nutrients would go back into the bulb. So I'm not sure that one way is better than the other to be honest because I've had these bulbs maybe two or three, I think three years now maybe even four and I've done it both ways and honestly I think I think either way is fine so what I'm doing now is probably should have done this earlier is I'm separating the bulbs here because I have two kinds of elephant ears I have the standard elephant ear which is this pile right over here which is actually the bulbs that look the worst. Um, but they have dried out and they might be okay. Um, and then I have the um, Alocasia, which is the upright elephant ear, which is this guy right here. And this one also takes a lot longer to dry out, but now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come through here, I'm going to cut off the tops so that I can store the bulbs over the winter. This one is already cut off or has no top. 
There we go. So, this one looks so bad. Um, you don't want to cut too far down. Um, maybe this is if this is the top of the bulb right here and I'm kind of pressing my finger in, I can tell that's the the top and then this is the leaf part. You don't want to cut down too far because then you're going to cut into the bulb. And we of course need that to grow next year. Meaning I don't want to damage the bulb. Alright. So... I think I'm going to stop right there and then cut the rest off and then come back. Um, it's a little hard doing this one-handed. I did want to point out though, um, I usually don't wear gloves when I garden, but I do recommend that maybe if you have gloves that you wear them when you're handling the elephant ears. Um, I found out the hard way, uh, I believe it was this one in particular, the one year the plant was very large and I cut it down and just being curious, let me see here, I was just being curious, I don't know if you can see, the inside of the stalk kind of looks like styrofoam to be honest or like a celery anyway it looked it looked kind of interesting so I literally was sticking my finger into the the stem and kind of squeezing it and little did I know that um, the this particular plant actually has little tiny crystals inside of it uh, of course I should have looked up what those crystals are called I forget but basically they are sharp little like little tiny needle like shards in there and they get stuck in your fingers so I learned the hard way after I had jammed my fingers into the elephant ear that all of a sudden my hands felt like little needles all over and kind of burning so that was an unpleasant experience I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it's something that you probably would like to avoid. Um, so I recommend wearing gloves or just being very careful and not doing what I was doing, which was sticking my fingers right inside the plant. Okay, so I'm going to cut the rest of these off and then I will be ready to just put them in this black bin here for storage. Alright, I have all the tops cut off now, and this is how I store them in my basement over the winter. Uh, I have them separated, so this is just the standard tarot or elephant ear, and then this is the upright alocasia. Um, I just want to keep them separated because once they dry down, it they, you know you can get them confused, and I want to make sure I know which plants or which, so I know where I'm putting them. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I will let them sit in here for a few more days, maybe another week, um, just to let the tops dry out a little bit more where I just cut off, and then I will cover them up with, just lightly with some um, dry potting soil. And that should be it. So at the beginning of this video, I did mention possibly uh, storing cannas, which is this guy right here, but honestly, I think I'm just going to leave that in the ground. I'm going to take the risk um, and hope that it comes back next year because this particular one did come back. There's always an airplane every time I do video. This one I did not dig out last year and it came up just fine so I think I may risk it again. Um, 
just because basically I don't feel like digging it out. So if you do dig them out, it is, or the way I do it is the exact same process that I did with the elephant ears. Dig them out, let them dry out for a week, removing all the soil, letting some of the nutrients go back into the bulb, and then just cut the tops off. And then I would put them in the same container um, that I do with the elephant ears. That's what I've done in the past. Uh, I do have this um, canna over here, and it is in a pot, and it has been drying out in the pot, and I think I'm just gonna cut the tops off and just bring that into the basement, because I don't wanna risk losing that one. But that's pretty much it for the elephant ears. All right, I just decided to cut this can of back uh, because I do need to bring it in anyway. So I went ahead and chopped that off um, because this is very dry. You can see it's uh, pulling away from the edges of the pot. And can I get this out of here? I just had a second ago. <laughs> um, you can see this actually looks pretty healthy and it seems pretty dry so I'm just going to put this whole thing in the basement all right guys that pretty much wraps everything up for today as always thank you for watching and please click like and subscribe and I will see you on the next garden video